Okay, so we're back. Ian sent me a log file. Let's see what I found. Uh, so anyway, he would have gone up here. ECU log file download. I can't do it because I don't have a computer attached. An ECU. But he would have got a file. Save the file. Bang it into an email and send it over to me. I'm going to open that log file. Again, it should be in downloads. That one there. Open that up. Look at that. Took a little while for my Lambda to actually work. We have Lambda here. Okay, I'd like to know why there was no Lambda. But here it starts working. So, pretty much this information here is, is useless because I don't have Lambda. So I'm just going to grab this bit. Now it works. I got that wrong. I'm just pushing the down button, bring it back to there. It's probably a shortcut. There we go. And I just want that bit there. It gives us an indication. Okay, let's go to here to start with. So we turn add the engine off. He started the engine up. And the lambda started working here. The wide band sensor is working there. It's 1200 RPM and it's 0.81. So it is incredibly rich. 0.78, very, very rich. Uh, we've got a throttle position. Drop the throttle. And it leans off a little bit as the injectors turn off. And back up 0.84. He's just driving it gently down the road up to 2000 RPM. And it is incredibly rich. In fact, it should be doggy to drive. Which is good because it does have big injectors in it. So it's not where it should be. What's this blip here? Okay. He's decelerating, so the throttle is closed. It actually goes a, a little bit lean. Well, it's showing lean, and that could be camshafts. Um, just poor injector atomization at low speed. What happened there? He's put his foot into it. So here we got, he's going from no throttle, and he's putting his foot down, and you can see it goes incredibly lean. But that's just when you, as you accelerate off, uh, it could actually be that it is so rich that it's actually misfiring. That could be that. Uh, it could just be really lean, need acceleration enrichment. Um, so there's a few causes for that. We can see the same thing happens here, and the same thing happens here. So as we go along, we're 0.84, so it's, it's just very, very, very rich everywhere. Okay. I'm just going to add another zone in this. Uh, so I left click, properties, add group, add parameter, and I'm going to add the fuel zone, fuel table 1, there it is there. Okay. 
Again, we've got that leaning out there. So I'm going to look at that acceleration enrichment. So left click, properties, add group, add parameter. And I did get acceleration fuel. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. And what you can see here is that lean spot actually corresponds to an acceleration enrichment event because it works with the throttle position. So he's, he's putting his foot down and you're getting a big bout of fuel. We're just going to spread that zone out there so we can look a bit closer. So you can see here. So he's, this is where Ian's accelerated. And it's dropped back down. It's interesting. It's just like a, a little rev. He's given it a, a rev. He hasn't actually been. Um, sorry. He's, he's given it a rev. But it's gone from zero throttle back to zero throttle. It's not a sustained amount of throttle. I would put that down to the moment that we are starting very rich. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. So here we're 0 0.84. So we're very, very rich. So I'm not really happy with that. I think it needs to be leaned out first before we really address the lean, which is probably like a, a rich misfire, in fact. Unburnt fuel, misfiring, shows more oxygen. So looking here, sustained throttle, okay, so we can actually compare where he's actually sitting at this point, fuel table's 32.5, We've got map of 98 kPa. I think his fuel table is probably in manifold gauge. So if I just uh, close this down, grab another copy, open Ian's tune. Here it is there. Again, fuel map is uh, ECU settings, fuel, fuel table one. We go back to logging. Oh, I didn't check whether it was engage or map. It's engage. So I can actually just, I can put up the gauge as well. Again, left click, properties, add group, add perimeter. Auxiliary, mm, I want auxiliary inputs. There it is there. Manifold gauge. Uh, I'm going to put that with map. We'll put it up there like that. So I just used the page up. And we can just uh, remove that group there. Push OK. We'll see what happens. OK, good. So gauge is minus 5. And it's at 1800 RPM. We go over here, gauge is minus 5, so it's, it's between 0 and, and minus 20, at 1800 RPM. Let's double check that. 32.5. Somewhere in there. So 
So it's around that zone there. In this case, because it's rich everywhere, because of the big injectors, I would go back to here. Now it's warm, I would drop that down. I'd give it some revs, see what it looks like, and then possibly go down further. Check it, see what it's like, go down further. Because it's got bigger injectors, I think it's probably going to go down a couple of points. Oh, I'm in the wrong one, eh? He's mapping. Lean, lean, lean. Also, being as rich as it is, maybe affecting that lambda sensor because <coughs> excuse me, it may simply just be running too cold because it is very, very rich. I'm just going to look at some targets, some lambda targets in here. As well, so uh, ECU settings, Lambda target table. So that's actually a lot uh, leaner than I'd really like. So I'm probably going to just adjust that target table. Down here it's very rich, but I'd like a little bit more fuel through this zone in here. But we're going to start by dropping that master fuel. Just looking at this as the next step in, in tuning up this engine. Ian, of course, has done a lot of the setup himself. By a lot, I mean pretty much all of it. He's messaged me a couple of times, and he's learning lots. He's also being very cautious because he doesn't want to blow stuff up. But he's managed to get the injectors in, the ECU in, by following the instructions, asking me a couple of questions. So... That's really awesome to see the learning that he's he's been making on this setup. And hopefully by going through this, he's helping everyone learn a little bit more about logging. We're going to spend a bit more time looking at this. And Ian is going to uh, probably call it a night because it's getting dark. But he's got a bit of watching and a bit of learning. We probably should just look again at that fuel map so we can watch it. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. This one here. So let's bring up a fuel map. So when it's driving, he can actually watch where it's sitting. So he'll see this little, there'll be a little screen on here. I think it's green. I do it so often, I don't even take notice. No, it's green where it's running and once he's adjusted the master fuel he'll try and get some mixture right in the middle of the map it should clean up when he gives it uh, a little bit less fuel as well when he takes some fuel away and then if it's a bit lean at idle he can go through these idle zones and adjust it appropriately i actually think this thing might have cams in it too so that's going to adjust the way it's set up as well but good moving forward getting some mixture happening and hopefully get this car set up and running a lot better. And once he's got it kind of drivable, it will be going on a dyno to finish it off properly. But it's nice to have the bugs ironed out first and, and have a car that actually drives reasonably well before it heads to the dyno. So again, hope that's been helpful. We'll talk to you later.